Kind of, anyway. Um, if you haven't watched my previous vlog or if you're new here, then you won't know what's happened. Basically, I broke my ankle, but I won't go into too much detail about that. It's all in all in the previous vlog, so you can watch that, you know, if you want to be nosy and find out what happened. But yeah, I'm back. I say kind of because I'm not I'm not fully well where I'd like to be, that's for sure. Um I have ridden uh we'll use that term loosely i'm calling it more sitting on remy um i can't actually get my foot in the stirrup fully so i've been riding without stirrups um aka sitting on him and just going around the farm really um i've done that twice three times now and i've kind of called a day on it really for the time being um even without stirrups just having it hanging there still hurt so yeah i'm gonna be sensible take this one slow and you know hopefully they'll be all in the time in the world you know once i do eventually get cracking but for now uh just gotta be patient i did film a uh, a little update vlog that i was gonna upload separately and then i watched it back and it was basically me just chatting for five minutes patting the old pony here and there um but it wasn't overly exciting or riveting so i i binned that one but i shall enter the footage here and yeah you can just kind of see see me waffling on for five minutes if not skip to the rest of it and we'll catch up in a minute So what have they been up to over the past four weeks? Well, as you can imagine, not a great deal. Remy's been living his best furlough life and he's been off for the past four weeks. He's been ridden a couple of times by his owner, but nothing too hectic. Um, to be honest, for the last six years, six years is how long I've been riding him for, he's never had an enforced break he's never really had time off he's had like a week or a couple off here and there but never a prolonged period of time so he was well overdue a holiday i mean make it sound like he works really hard all the time he doesn't um it's probably actually only the last six months that he's worked his hardest he's as fittest he's ever been um so yeah he's enjoyed enjoyed some time off so we will be taking it easy for a little while longer just whilst i get back up to full fitness i'm nowhere near where i need to be so he's gonna be taking it easy for the next few weeks at least mara on the other hand she's she's been having a great time haven't you yeah she's actually turned into such a little diva we used to call her the angel she's just kind of just slotted in she's as good as gold she never does anything wrong but recently, she's actually turned into Houdini. She's stolen Hardy's role, who is usually the chief escape artist. And she now thinks it's brilliant to escape out of her field. Obviously, their grazing is pretty minimal at the moment. But judging by the size of both of them, neither of them are really needing the grass. So we are not, we're not turning you out into your winter grazing just yet. But Mara decided to take things matter, take matters into our own hands and she's been getting over the fence. So we've kind of had to fashion some dodgy looking rope situation going on over there. But the entire fencing is actually being redone tomorrow it is. So fingers crossed um, that will solve all of our issues. Hopefully we're going to have wire as well as the post and rail so that she can't get her head through the middle because what she's been doing is getting her head through the middle and then snapping snapping the top half and snapping the post you can see here where we've had to replace it um so fingers crossed that'll solve all our problems and then little hardy he is not here at the moment um as you can see it's very quiet without him but he's actually gone off he's um 
still on the farm, but he's just on a different part of the farm because he's gone babysitting. He has gone to babysit a new arrival for the time being. Um, so maybe we'll pop down and see him later. If I can drive my car down, that is. I don't think I'll quite make the walk. So even though I'm not quite where I'd like to be recovery wise, it's just nice just being back up here. Um, I'm obviously limited in what I can do, but I can do jobs, funnily enough. Riding is tricky, but jobs is no problem. So it even means I take great pleasure in doing things such as poo picking, um, which I never thought I'd say. But no, it's just nice to be up here and to spend time back up here. Four weeks away is a really long time. and I think that's the longest I've ever been away from horses. Um, so yeah, it was really hard. So yes, it's nice to restore some normality to my life. And there she is, the devil that caused all this drama. This is what I fell off and broke my ankle. Um, it has since been replaced by well, some wires been put over the top of it, so it's not as slippery. I mean, I didn't really slip off. I kind of just missed my footing and landed down there. And as you can see, it's quite uneven here. So it only takes a slight stumble. Literally, that's all it was. Um, and over you go. Still find the whole thing really, really infuriating, especially as today, 20th of September, was supposed to be our well, this is what, our third, fourth attempt at making it to an event. And we've missed out yet again. I'm kind of just retiring now, I think. Um, well, at least until next year. Um, well, I might not have much of a choice because obviously the season will be over soon, but I'm really hoping we can make it to a hunter trials at least. I've seen some that go on until November. Fingers crossed we might make it to one of those. If not, it's just not meant to be, is it? Um, We'll keep fighting, we'll keep working hard, and we'll get there one day. Over the last four weeks, I can guarantee that there will have been a lot of this. These two are obsessed with each other, and they just spend the entire time grooming each other. We're now going to go for our hops, brilliant. The plan of action now is to get Rem in and to get him bath, because tomorrow we are clipping that all this fluff is coming out. Um, so I want to make sure his coat is nice and clean so fingers crossed the clippers glide through sweetly and that beard as well, wow. Hairy hairy. <laughs> it just goes to show doesn't it that it doesn't take long for them to go from super fit sports cob to well an untouched unloved feral looking beast um, but hopefully that will all be rectified come tomorrow and he'll be looking dashing once again. Well, that's the plan anyway. There is a reason I've decided to come back um, today. Well, actually tomorrow. We are taking Mara out showing. I say we, obviously, I'm not doing any of it. Um, <laughs> she's going in hand and there's no word to be able to run her up. Um, I'm still pretty lame. But Kelly, Mara's owner, is taking her out. So I thought it'd be fun to take you along for the ride and then kind of along the way, maybe show you what I use to get ponies looking show ready. I've done a bathing vlog on how to get them super white, but I've never shown you the products we use in detail at show. So if there's time and it's not too hectic, I will definitely um, aim to show you, yeah, the bits and bobs we use really um but anyway you might find it interesting you might not but that is what we're up to this weekend so let's get started so yeah we're going showing desperate times call for desperate measures but i was desperate for an outing um so showing it is isn't it guys hello hey hey ow you're not going tomorrow no just you Mara. <laughs> The more observant of you, um, or not very observant, it's pretty obvious, but I didn't actually clip him the other day. I said I was going to bath him and get him ready for clipping, but unfortunately the clippers weren't, weren't quite in working order, as in the clippers are fine, I just didn't have any blades. So he can wait to be clipped for a little while longer, but there's no rush. It was just kind of just to tidy him up really and to give me something to do. Um, but yeah, he's obviously not in, in a lot of work or any work, so he doesn't actually need to be clipped. But yeah, would have been nice to get him looking a little bit smarter, that's for sure. Makeover day, Mara. You're going to sleep. <laughs> she said the ropes are holding me up. <laughs> 
Oh, honey. Let's get you looking a bit more glamorous, shall we? Let's get some sun, baby. It's time to go. legs to go and you're all done you get you nice and dry with me here i've got a bucket of warm water and some blue rinse now you just need to pop a very small amount of this into the water and dilute it i think the actual quantity is dissolve half a teaspoon in a two gallon bucket of water so it literally is just a pinch So Zamara's back feathers that are, as you can see, have been scrubbed with an inch within an inch of their life. Um, and they're lovely and white, but you can see where her pee has stained her back ones yellow compared with her front ones. So that's what we're going to apply the blue rinse to. And then what I do, this one doesn't actually look as yellow as the other one. Let's find the yellow bits, dunk it in. And then I just leave it in there. Obviously, the more yellow it is, the longer you leave it. Can you see? Mara's tail is quite coarse, so we're going to pop some of this uh, Survivor Super Detangler and Shine. You can use it on wet or dry, so we use it on wet now, and then we we'll use it on some dry tail tomorrow. <laughs> Her. I hope it's looking better once she's dry. She's having a blast to dry off, don't you? <laughs> Go. You love it? Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. You're lovely and soft. Lovely and soft. <laughs> Are you impressed with your get up? She's like, not really, I look like an idiot. Oh, keep you nice and clean though, hopefully. That's the plan anyway, Mara. That is the plan. Keep you nice and clean so we don't have too much scrubbing to do in the morning. Do you feel silly? <laughs> she doesn't want to talk about it. Do you feel silly? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's so soft. Whilst Mara has been attacked from all angles, Remy has been living a life of luxury at the horsey buffet. He's basically had a pick of all the grass, haven't you, Rem Rem? It's time to come in now, though, mate. <laughs> time to come in. You're going to go in for the night. Keep your sister company. It's not turning her out after she's um, had a clean. Come here. Come on, then, boy. Go. Gotta keep her company. <laughs> you sad you're not coming to the show too, Rem? I think that was a no. It's like absolutely not. So she's 
just woken up with some dirty hocks. They're not. This is our favourite and our go-to for getting rid of those. There we go. That's looking much better already. Sometimes I find a bit of water on this actually makes it go. Voila! That looks super shiny as well, actually. Let's check the inside. I don't want to miss any bits. This feeling like it's starting now, starting now. I feel adventurous with you. Where we are today is basically on a peninsula, so we are getting whipped from the wind from all directions. Um, it's gonna be a chilly one, and I'm slightly worried I don't have enough clothes on. So let's stay young and love. We should focus on love. Good Obviously on really sunny days it would make a lot of difference but that just makes it look nice and pretty. Party piece isn't it Laura? But I might not want this in my pocket. Yeah. Oh, I don't really like that. Tail, after we brush through, we'll pop some serum on. Rub it between my hands. Run it down. Mara's not got a very good tail in like her mane. <laughs> um, this just adds some shine and makes it look nice and silky and then you can just brush it through there we go finish it off right it's time to oil you up <laughs> which you don't come out too much i know it should be well greasy Pour a little bit on cloth and then I tend to just do it on the black and just rub it in. She's already been hot cloth this morning. Just add one last bit of shine. And then a good place to do it. Actually, 
actually a bit butter, but it makes her look nice and shiny. Cheap up. Mm -hmm. Gonna be a good girl, Mara. <laughs> it is very busy today. I think everyone's had the same idea. No shows for however many months. It brings everyone out of the woodworks, doesn't it? Including us. <laughs> oh, it's probably the last one before winter, though. So. First and last one of the year. Lots of ponies. Pretty girly, aren't you? Just having a last minute practice on standing Mara up because it's been a while. She looks good. Down over your head. <laughs> good girl. Stand up like that in the ring. That'd be lovely. Oh yeah! <laughs> the results are in. I don't know whether you'll be able to hear me because it's so windy here. If I haven't mentioned it, we are on a peninsula, so there's wind coming from all directions. Um, massive class though. There was 20 ponies in it and this was the 32 and under section. Mara has managed to come seventh, um, which is pretty good considering she was a bit of a pickle in her different types. So she looks the part. We just need to work on the behaviour now. really nice ponies in this class. So hopefully Kelly will be pleased with that. I think she should be. Beautiful ponies. Come on Mara, do your thing. We have actually skipped quite a few days now. In fact, it's even weeks. Um, I'm back in the saddle on Mara. Uh, not fully, I'm literally just plodding around, but clearly I had, well, I've forgotten how to vlog. Um, <laughs> it's been seven weeks and yeah, I forgot that when you do a vlog, you kind of need to round it all up, summarize what happened. Um, Mara's ready to go. <laughs> uh, this could be tempting fate actually, filming whilst on a pony, bearing in mind I'm not quite up to full fitness. Can you be nice for me? Thank you so much. <laughs> She's being really spooky. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to quickly round up and say how Mara got on. So she got seventh in the first class out of, I think it was 2021, 20, which we're really chuffed with. The judge was brilliant. We did another class. Um, Mara was much better behaved in the second class. Um, she did a nice trot up, which we were really pleased with. She was again, a very good girl. Um, a little bit disappointed with the judging though, as in I can take it when, you know, things don't go your way, as in it's showing. At the end of the day, not everyone's gonna get placed. Um, we're not sore losers or anything like that. But the judge didn't even look at the horses that were in the back line. So initially she pulled six in on the initial go round. 
and those six she stood up she did like a, a confirmation check and then walk, walked and trotted them away blah 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 um the back line kelly went to do her um like stand her up in front of the judge and she was like oh shall i stand her she's like no 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 i've already looked at her we haven't you've seen her trot around that's it you've not seen her up close or anything like that nor have you seen any of these other horses so absolutely fine didn't get placed in that class um that wasn't the issue but i do think uh the judging yeah i just think if you pay your entry fee every entrant in that class should be treated the same and given the same respect and the same amount of time everyone's made a lot of effort in getting their horses ready so yeah that was slightly disappointing but it can't take away from the fact that she was a really good girl and i'm gonna go now because there's some deer over there <laughs> i don't think you'll be able to see that oh my goodness what am i doing this could go horribly wrong lost oh no he's coming back oh wow there he goes but yeah i just want to say a huge thank you for being so patient and for being so kind with all your lovely messages on the previous vlog which was obviously the one where i told you what had happened Mario being so spooky still um but yeah hopefully normal content and normal pony antics will resume very shortly oh gosh I've got so much that I want to do um it's just a case of getting fitter and working with a physio trying to get as strong as possible um but yeah we shall see how it goes but yeah hopefully Remy and I will be back with you very shortly but until then I hope you enjoyed this one sorry it was very chatty um but yes thank you for watching and we will see you very soon hopefully <laughs> bye what do we do to love what do we do to love what do we do to love when everything's said and done what do we do to love